Why do you carry? Over the last several days, I've been at an event where we talk about the process and the technique, the mindset, as well as the actual equipment for concealed carrying. But I really enjoy taking a step back, you know what I'm gonna say, the 10,000 foot view, and ask you why. So let me know, I'm gonna walk through this. I hope to make you think, and I think it's a super helpful conversation to press reset on some of our day-to-day, -day, everyday carry items. The mindset, the tactics, yeah, those are really, really important. But today I'm asking why, so buckle up, here we go. Fittingly for this conversation, a company that can help you carry safely and securely, Hidden Hybrid Holsters, they are tools that allow you to carry wherever on your person you need to, different body shapes, different body sizes, and different ones of these in all different sizes, some a little bit larger, some smaller. This is a single clip, they have double clips, and they have magazine holders as well. Beyond super well-made, you're gonna love it. HiddenHybridHolsters.com, get to shop, and tell them I sent you, that's fun. You people, thank you for every thumbs up. A friend of mine, somebody in my tribe, came to me about a year and a half ago summer before last and said I had a situation where I was walking through a parking garage alone and this person is uh, smaller than me. <laughs> I guess everybody's smaller than me. This is a smaller person and uh, maybe a little more vulnerable and it's a woman. And she said I was walking through a parking garage and somebody was following me and yelling, hey baby girl, hey baby girl, come here, come here trying to get her attention, trying to get her to talk, and not in a good situation. She came to me and she said, teach me how to conceal carry. For her, the conceal carrying assuage, it's a fancy term, assuage, got rid of, mitigated those feelings of fear, vulnerability, and the consequences of being beholden to the will of somebody else, stuffed into a trunk or worse. She came and she said, teach me how to carry. And so we worked on it. And a couple of y'all ended up helping her along the journey. And that's a whole other story. It's a long story. It's a good story for another day. But for her, I think my opinion on the outside looking in is some of that fear is gone. I was in an interview this weekend and I told one of the Guns Out TV guys, John, I said, you know what? And John's, it's Guns Out TV and they've got the guns. He's a Marine and he has, is in really, really good shape and he's uh, fast and quick and all of those things and can, and can shoot the lights out. I'm getting older. I'm five months away from 50. Uh, I can't hear out of one ear and I'm deaf in the other kind of deal. When I sleep at night, I sleep really hard. Y'all know I live alone and uh, it's a, that's a challenge. I am more vulnerable in the darkness than I've ever been. I take my contacts out at night. I find my way over to the bed. I go to sleep and I'm totally vulnerable. And uh, it's kind of nice at night to know I've got night vision right there. I've got full on kit with locked and loaded and ready to go. If there's a firefight and I can get to my glasses on the nightstand, we're gonna be good to go. But for me, that's why. That's a, that's a, it helps me sleep better at night. In vehicles and just walking through cities, downtown in a big city to, uh, this weekend, even right out here, a lot of y'all know this, those of y'all from the Tri-Cities, Johnson City's uh, riffraff population has skyrocketed over the last couple of years. There's a lot of riffraff right outside that building. Yesterday I was trying to walk and there was just some riffraff going on. I was off-body carrying. That may surprise some of y'all. I off-body carried yesterday. I was cross-slung like Indiana Jones, don't judge me, and I had it unzipped. All I had to do was this right here was ready to go. And it was really, really fast. I mean, it would have been, it would have been great. The point is, those feelings of fear, the feelings of vulnerability, the feelings of, ugh, I might be, again, beholden to the will of somebody else, gone. Somebody this weekend told me, I carry because at church I'm in charge of a large Sunday school of children and I am here to protect them. Everything I just said was about me, me sleeping, me walking, me trying to go through my life and not be uh, beholden to other people, this woman came and said, I'm protecting other people. I wanna challenge you today to press reset, to stop and say, why am I doing this? Why is this? And yes, I know the answers. It's our constitutional right to do whatever the freak we wanna do. People come to me and they say, Johnny, can you carry in that location? I said, yeah, sure. And they said, what about the laws? I said, what about them? 
We don't have to follow anything besides the Constitution of the United States, and that will hold up in court, but I'm not a lawyer, and that's not legal advice. Why do you carry it? Well, of course, it's your constitutional right. For me, one part of it is not being at the mercy of someone else. Let me know down below what say you, where are you at, and I'm going to challenge you today. Think about it and press reset. I'm Johnny B. telling you it's okay to follow the Constitution.